you had promised to donate the seven million dollars of your divorce settlement to charity. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote, That's right? That's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Heard? Correct. And this statement was made under oath, true? That is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made the sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four. It says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. It was revealed at trial that you haven't done so yet. That you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the settlement, Heard, $7 that's, million that's not my to charity, question. and I, Heard, I intend to Ms. fulfill Heard, those obligations. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Please, what was try your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. However, they played a tape where you stayed on the air that you have donated it. There was a divorce settlement. You got $7 million. People were saying this is all about the money. But then you did something that uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACL do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury? I made a, a pledge and that pledge is made over time by its nature. And when you say I donated, you know that everybody thinks that you've donated it, not that you've pledged it. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but I the don't. Ms. Heard, I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. For the jurors sitting there, do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie? You testified under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. I, I don't know because so much of the I feel like so much of the trial was meant to 
cast aspersions on who I am as a human, my credibility, to call me a liar in, in every way you can. And that more. was the trial. It was a credibility contest. And that I, was it. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement... When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for Hurt, the entire house Hurt, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Hurt. All right, next question, please. Thank you. This is another one of the examples where if you pull back and you think about it, I shouldn't have to have donated it in an in, in effort to be believed. I shouldn't have had to earmark the entirety of that. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Hurd? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 million for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. So back to October of 2018, this was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018. That is correct. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. You would that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is uh, October, correct. You uh, shouldn't have, but once you said you did. Right, which is where it was intended to go. For the jurors sitting there, do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie. I disagree with your characterization of that. 